Hello, this is the view you get to enjoy every morning as you come down the street. There's the house for sale. There's the view. So down the hill a little bit further, lots of these homes have views. So some of these homes are really, really nice leading up to here. And then everything is well maintained. Just looks really nice. I'm actually going to be listing that home sometime this year. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go in and take a look. It's your split entry that you like. I know that. Mother's inside turning on lights for us. They've got some Hyacinths popping up, little rockery there, or you know, basalt retaining wall. So, front lawn to mow, fenced area. I'm assuming that's all your yard. That's a big yard. The old wood numbers that are super, they're like over an inch thick. Okay, double wood doors. Hello. Hello. Okay, so this is painted, it's like beadboard, but it's not. It's just real wood that's been painted. That was uh, probably not white at one point in time, right? But they brightened it up. So they've got kind of a orangey gold color, would you say, leather on this? You guys can see it. Uh, it's like a... It's pretty orange. Kind of vanilla-ish. Like a deep French vanilla, if it's, it's pretty orangey. I love the original fixture-ish. <laughs> okay, so original windows also. Now oh, I'm sneezing in here, I don't know why. Excuse me. The garage smelled like cats, so. Maybe they had cats in here, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I could just be sneezing, I didn't take any allergy medicine today, so. But huge, huge windows. Um, will you look for failed seals? Oh my goodness, these are single pane windows. Huh. Right? Uh, yeah, single pane windows. Oh, wow. So they're not very insulative, and I'm guessing that window, each one is going to cost in the neighborhood of two thousand to put in a double pane window. Like, okay, yeah, I might be guessing high, <clears throat> maybe seventeen hundred each, but that's going to be pricey. Those are big windows. Okay, um, beautiful brick fireplace that hasn't been painted. Um, some people will think it's a crying shame to paint bricks. Usually when bricks get painted though, they can look pretty nice. So looks like one point there was some water intrusion up there. I mean, the house isn't brand new. That's not unusual to have a small leak around the chimney at one point. Okay, this is a new slider. So vinyl sliding glass door. Okay. And then they haven't opened up the kitchen yet like some of these houses have. A lot of these, see, because there's no cupboards on this wall. A lot of people take out this wall or uh, make it a half wall, right? And then they'll put like a breakfast bar in. It's got the vertical bamboo flooring. Real pretty, I like it. Ancient dishwasher, but that's like so inexpensive to replace. You know, that's whatever, $500, $600 at the most. And I mean, you could spend more of course, but does, you don't have to. It has this old, um, original fluorescent lighting. Okay, uh, this is an original aluminum window here. Uh, the countertops are in very good condition. Cupboards are definitely not original, but they're just the white melamine. Okay, pantry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Somebody was very creative. They put the storage in the door and then they made the shelves fit the, <coughs> the rack on the door. I love it. They maximized that space for sure. So, oh, I was expecting a Lazy Susan. It's not. It's just a corner cupboard. Room to install one, huh? Yeah, you could. <clears throat> and then a cookie sheet cupboard on this side. Okay, so not a ton of cu cupboards, right? You have this one and then the corner and the cookie sheets and then just the uppers, you know, but if you wanted to add more over here, you have a whole, you know, a whole wall there that you could. Okay, so probably a coat closet here. Yep, 
with a built-in shoe rack. This is funny, they painted the, just the trim on the doors. I've not seen that before. They're clever touch. Could you, thank you. So they've got sliding. These were bifold doors at one time and then they turned them into solid. Huh. Excellent privacy. Can you, oh, it's just a little, it's pretty okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, they've got the film on the window because cars were coming in, I guess. So that's, I mean, here they've tried to remove it so you have all this glue on the, <laughs> on the window. Okay, thank you. So shelving on that end. Across the hall is the main hall bath. Okay, so you probably saw this in the photos, the tile. It's very clean, you know, I mean, it's used, but it's still very clean for being used. Um, there's definitely some film, you know, soap film on the glass, but it's not brand new. <laughs> Original mirror. Okay, vanity. Um, particle board, right? Not, not super expensive there. So three bedrooms upstairs. Those floor to ceiling windows, you're gonna to wanna to put in tempered glass or you're gonna to have to. I mean, it's good. Anyone who replaces the glass for you is gonna put in tempered glass because this is so low, right? To, you know, in theory, to keep a child from falling out is why. So, you know, tempered glass like on your car windshield where it shatters into a million pieces if it breaks. We've got some built-ins here. This home is very loved. It's, you know, I'm not pointing at nicks and dings, right? I'm just pointing at a home that's not brand new. So, I mean, they've replaced the trim because this is not original trim. That's an original light fixture. And yes, there's popcorn ceilings everywhere. But they've done a good job with the trim. And the new trim is everywhere. I mean, here, what do we have? We have one mark on the wall here. Some paint on the floor there. But the floors are in very good condition. This is stranded bamboo, and so it's very durable and resistant to scratches. So they've got built-ins here in this closet. They took a rod out down there. And then they've got more closet rods on that side. And then bath off the master. They're always small. Ah, they do have a big uh, walk-in shower, though. Sometimes it's the little teeny tiny one. So that is <laughs> very ancient. There's no bulbs in the light fixture. I wonder if it works. Okay, and just an inexpensive vanity again. So it's perfectly serviceable. Could you, would you wanna update it? Probably, but it works, it definitely works. Okay, again, single pane windows. I think the sliding glass door is the only one that's been replaced. Okay, and then there's one more closet here that I had missed. Oh, I missed this. You have these little doors that you can close to the kitchen so that when people walk in, they don't see right into the kitchen. Okay, and then one little linen closet here. Okay, they added another shelf. They're like, we need more shelves. <clears throat> okay, heading downstairs. So different flooring here, and you can tell they had protective runners on the, on the flooring. It faded a little bit differently where it was exposed to daylight. <clears throat> Nothing atrocious, but just barely noticeable. Okay, um, ceramic tile here on the floor. Vinyl here. Again, the same type of vanity. As before, little mirror, hello. So washer dryer, nice corner shelf. Uh, window for light, it's got the film on it again, or it came as a frosted window, one of the two. Okay, so half bath laundry. Fireplace continues down here, and hallelujah, there is a door to the outside. They turned this into a bedroom, as you can see, <clears throat> by adding 
by adding this closet. They framed this in. It didn't used to be here once upon a time. But see, they did continue the new trim around this. They did a good job of it. See, this is, you see how it's popcorn at the top? That's where the ducting is. And so that's what people often do is they'll put the, oh wait, maybe the ducting's here. <clears throat> Excuse me, interesting, it's a little lower here. You can see, well, there's a the vent, so we know the ducting is there. Okay, so they turned this into a family room and then another bedroom, really. But it doesn't have to be. I mean, it could be a, you know, an office or a sewing room or a whatever, you know? So let's check out the door. This one's original aluminum again. Let's check over here. Oh, I'm gonna finish the inside too before I go outside. Yep, and look here. Oh, this one is a double pane window because the outside one is broken. Double pane. Interesting. Hey, Leather? Yeah? Go let me know if any of those are upstairs with double pane, because that one's double pane. Uh, none of the ones up here are, except for the, uh, the back door. Yeah, the new back door, okay. All right, so they're all single pane, except this one's in the front and the bottom are double pane, but one's broken. So it's a single pane. <laughs> okay, old wood doors, garage door openers. The light is on, and that is one dark garage, but there's a door to the backyard, which is awesome. So they said that the furnace was brand new. Leather, can you hold this door? It's so dark in here. Yep, yep. Thank you. Yeah, there's an odor in here. Kind of like a normal garage, like somebody where they, somebody put their dog or something. Not terrible at all, but more like gas and gas and something weird. So a two-year new water heater, brand new furnace. That's awesome. It's just electric furnace though. I don't see any gas connected to it. So, electric, but new, that's nice. Looks like one of the garage door openers might be busted. It might just be. Yeah, turn it off, turn it off. That's not the one that I thought would be broken. Okay, we'll have an inspector check those out. I've learned never to check those. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. Backyard is cute. Big back deck. Will you go look at the condition of the deck as much as you can? Yeah. Ravine. Like you would put a fence up if you had small kids. If you don't have small kids, you don't care. <laughs> so. It's absolutely, I, I have always thought that ravines were beautiful, as long as I'm not obviously worried about falling down. This one, this is the kind of ravine where here, uh, 10 year olds and billy goats can go up and down no problem. Over there, it kind of looks like a cliff. It's a bit dingy, but it seems to be in good shape. Yeah. Um, I don't think they use bolts when attaching it to the house. They might have just used screws. Not instead of like bolts. That's pretty common. Yeah. Inspectors are always calling that out. Yeah. But it's hard to tell from here. Yeah. So yeah, they put this, um, the, the corrugated roofing so that it'll always stay dry here, which is actually really, really nice. Um, because that way you, you, the deck above isn't dripping water on this area. It's, it turned into a covered area. Right? They've got some storage up here. They've got some metal pipes. I will say, uh, it looks like this uh, is a little bit ramshackle and how it was assembled. So maybe yeah. re uh, replace it. Homeowner job for sure. Yeah. But they did at the very least use caulk around this. So that's nice. So some of these boards definitely have some water staining. But I mean, water staining is not a big deal. I just... I don't think they look rotten yeah they look like they're in good shape yeah they look pretty tell. good they just look very dirty <laughs> dirty yeah okay so i'm gonna go check out where it looked like a cliff and see if it really does appear to be a cliff oh they've got a silver dollar plant here i love those oh it's not that bad there's some buckets down there nope this is still 10 year olds and billy goats maybe right here it's a cliff It's a little bit of a cliff right here, but no one would die. 
it's only it's only right here and then you'd only fall six seven feet well maybe eight or ten but and then roll into the next tree <laughs> but I, I'm really not concerned I'm not concerned about hillside stability you have all these trees holding it up um, I think it's beautiful but some people you know they're like I would never live on a ravine but some most people are like yeah that's really pretty it looks like it's definitely a, little, a bit steeper down there uh, but it's you know where they've put a bit of fencing that seems to have had some debris fall on it but um it looks like yeah there's some fencing there that'll prevent oh. uh, a deeper drop that's true but it also looks like they have a pathway that goes down there it almost looks like a switchback road yeah. that went back and forth yeah i can see a bit of an extension down there they might have um might have just used it for walking yeah so that's the it does go it's it's far down there though it's a deep ravine mm -hmm. <clears throat> Nice shed, the greenhouse. I mean, this is a lot of yard maintenance. If you want it to be, um, you could do something to so that it's not yard maintenance. You're definitely going to be doing some mowing here. And I mean, somebody's come in and recently weeded, right? If you don't do anything, it'll, it'll just fill up with weeds. So, so just something to keep in mind. These are fruit trees. These are amazing if you want to deal with fruit trees <laughs> a lot of work if you don't <clears throat> okay i did not put my nose in the greenhouse cute little greenhouse you have a new message from amy Voorhees. message is 22 ar is signed and in leeway folder under